is a video that is going to show you what I'm bringing to the hospital for baby number two. So, um, this is my second baby. And a lot of people say they overpacked with their first child and they pack less with their second. I actually find the opposite to be true. With my first pregnancy, I planned a birth center birth and you're only at the birth center for about four hours after you have the baby and then you're sent home. So when I packed my bag, I had that in mind. Um, I also did think about the possibility of, for some reason, having to go to the hospital. So I did, I did pack um, with that in mind, thinking, well, if we went to the hospital for a few days, I wanna have some, some things for the baby. Um, which did happen, and I had the baby at the hospital I was induced for preeclampsia and had to have the baby at the hospital. And I I had enough things for the baby, but there was definitely a lot of items that I wish I would have had that I ended up sending like my husband to go get. Um, and so with that in mind, here is what I'm bringing for baby second time around. And I definitely live kind of by the philosophy of um, being overprepared and I'd rather overpack instead of underpack. The first items I'm bringing obviously are the car seat. Um, this is the same car seat we used with our first, Milo. He's almost two, so it's about two years old. It's the Up a Baby Mesa, and we loved this car seat. It's very nice, it's very high quality, it's in great condition. We only used it till he was about eight months old, so it's still like in brand new condition. I washed the cover and everything, um, so it looks brand new. And I'm really excited about using this again. I loved it a lot with my first. The second thing is my nursing pillow. Um, this is something I originally did not think of bringing um, with my first, but I sent my husband for it. And I loved having this in the hospital. My baby was small. I mean, all babies are small. Even a 10 pound newborn, there's a smallness to them and a this squishy newbornness to them and having a nursing pillow uh, I found it really helpful and he had problems um, latching and nursing so it really took two hands up here to help him and I really needed support for his body I couldn't really support him with one arm and like help him latch with one the other I needed both hands so a nursing pillow is a must in my mind Next, we have all the fun stuff, which I have in this bag. This is a Petunia Pickle Bottom bag. Um, this is the, like a Wistful Weekender, it's what it's called. And it's kind of like a duffel bag, and it's super roomy. I could fit like so much more in here if I wanted to. With my first, he was in the NICU, and we were in the hospital. I was in the hospital for a week, because I was in there for two days before he was even born um, and then we were in there for five days after he was born so I actually needed quite a few things for him even though he was he didn't get to wear clothes till he was like three or four days old because he was like hooked up to a bunch of stuff um, but it's amazing what you can go through in just a couple of days and I was so excited that even the tiniest little spit up I would want to change him because I was just so excited to try all these different outfits on him um, so this is everything I have. I also, um, I'm having a, another fall baby, so it's you know a little chillier, layers, and I want him to be warm. And I'm sure I'll be doing lots of skin to skin as well, but I, I definitely want to have clothes for him to wear, especially at nighttime. Um, and some people are fine using like all the hospital blankets and hats, and like they provide little shirt like onesies and stuff but I like using my own things especially like in pictures I just feel like it's so much more personalized and cuter um I really don't plan on using the hospital items for more than like those first like few hours when the baby's like just was put on me um and after that and after he's kind of cleaned off a little bit and I'm cleaned off a little bit we'll go to using our own stuff so I will start with all of um let's see where i'll start with all the blankets i'm bringing the first thing i'm bringing here 
is this is a nursing cover slash car seat cover it's one of those like um like it's not it this is called the brand is copper pearl but it's very similar to like the covered goods brand which is very popular um as these cute foxes on it so i can put it over whoops i dropped it i had a nursing cover kind of like this with my first one except for the opening on the top was really big so it actually didn't provide hardly any coverage um so you can kind of wear it like this and kind of peek in or you can put both arms in and it has like a 360 degree coverage all the way around which is nice to hide those love handles um and then it just pops right over on the car seat which i did not have a car seat cover with my first and I regret that so just like pops over and then you can like look inside and I don't have it on there very good because it's on the base um, but it's just super multifunctional so I really like this um, I think it's super cute next I have a cotton swaddle blanket kind of receiving swaddle blanket and matching burp cloth. These are for, from Milo, my first. I had these. Next I have a muslin swaddle blanket with arrows. Don't mind my nails. They so need to be done, I know. And um, this burp cloth. So I kind of have them like in little sets that kind of match. So I've got that little set, this little set, and then I got his soft, kind of warm blankie. This is like a minky fabric. It has like the minky dots. And I just thought this was really cute with the little um, deer heads. So that's what I'm bringing as far as blankets go. Um, well, I do actually have one more swaddle blanket that, that matches his going home outfit that I'll show you at the very end. I have a wet bag that I'm bringing just in case there's any like that meconium poo is very sticky and gross so anything um, any clothes gets dirty with that I can stick it into this wet bag I already had this I don't think this is a necessity um, you can use a plastic bag too but since I already had it I thought I might as well bring it okay on to all of the outfits to me this is like the fun part um my first was six pounds 11 ounces and he was born at 39 weeks and four days so i'm guessing this baby is going to be born around the same time maybe a few days sooner so i'm guessing he'll be around the same weight maybe a few ounces heavier just because it is my second child so even like a seven pound baby, they're still pretty small. Milo fit into newborn clothes for like two or three months till he was like nine or 10 pounds. Um, maybe even 11 pounds, like some of the things. So I definitely wanted to make sure I had little outfits because that's one mistake I made with Milo. Even though I brought all newborn outfits to the hospital, um, there's a lot of variation in brands and sizing. And most of the things that I had for him were like way too big. So I was pretty careful to pick out things that I thought would fit a newborn um, pretty well. So the first two little outfits that I'm bringing that I thought would be super easy because they're like these kimono style onesies. And these are from H&M and they're organic cotton. So it's a little onesie with a pair of little footed pants and these are size zero to one month. And they're super tiny. I mean, they're newborn size, um, but I, I remember I really liked how these fit with Milo. So I have just a navy blue one and then this one's navy and white stripes. And it'll be really easy with the umbilical cord um, but that still has the clamp on it. So I, I don't have to put anything over the head. It just snaps right down the side, which is nice. So I've got two of those. And then I definitely have an excessive amount of hats that I'm bringing. I have like a hat to match everything. Um, but these came in a pack and they matched the, the outfits. 
So we've got the hats that match. So these are kind of like daytime outfits that I would use while I'm at the hospital with the baby. Then for nighttime, um, I have a gown, and this is Milo's old gown. I have a few things from Milo and a few new things. These are really nice and easy, and they can kind of be um, a little big, or and it's fine because it just is longer. And I have a white onesie to go under that, just a little white onesie. And again, of course, I have the matching hat for that and a little pair of socks. So they fold over and I can kind of fold them up so it kind of covers his legs all the way. So that's like a little nighttime outfit. I could see him wearing this maybe on the first night. We'll see. And I have two sleepers, um, which could be for day or nighttime, just kind of depending on what I need. And these are from Baby Gap. These are new. These are um, up to seven pounds, newborn size. But I did find that even though it says up to seven pounds, they fit Milo for a lot longer than that. They fit him until he was at least nine pounds, like the Baby Gap. Um, newborn size stuff. So I have that one which was stripes and this one has the stars which I think is so cute. They both have the little mitted hands. And then for a hat I have a striped one and a plain gray one. I also have some little mittens that I'm bringing. Um, these are gray stripes, these are blue stripes. And most of his outfits have the midi, the little hand things anyway, so I might not need these, but just in case. Um, and again, I have a white onesie to wear under the sleepers. Um, this last little outfit that I'm bringing, I kind of threw it in there last minute. And this is kind of like a secondary bring, it, bring him home outfit in case the first one gets like ruined before we actually make it out the door. But it's this cute little cardigan or sweater jacket thing from the Baby Gap. This is newborn, so it's up to seven pounds. Um, with these little Baby Gap pants and then a long sleeve white onesie. And then I have these cute little, little socks. So that's kind of an extra outfit that I just kind of threw in there that I don't think I'll really use. Um, but just in case we're there for an extra day or I'm feeling like taking some fun pictures of him all dressed up, I thought that was a really cute little outfit to have. So that's his clothes. Um, basically there's three outfits for the day and three outfits for night. So I'm expecting about a three day hospital stay just with my um, history. Uh, typically it's about two days, but because they're going to be monitoring me for blood clots and I have to get back on blood thinners after delivery, um, they'll probably want to keep me an extra day. So most likely I'll be there for three days. Um, obviously, I don't know how long I'm going to labor before the baby's actually born. So the baby might only be there for two days and I might be there for like three because I'll be there before the baby's born, obviously. Okay. This is his going home outfit. And I did wash this, but I put it back in this little box because I thought it was so cute. It's like a little elephant and that's the little tail. And this is like a little swatch of the fabric. This is the softest, stretchiest fabric ever. And this is by Kiki Pants. I love Kiki Pants. So his little going home outfit is this onesie with feathers on it. And then these little black footed pants. They have the little feet on them. This little top knot hat, which I love. This style of hat is like my favorite. And um, you can fold it, you can fold the bottom up so it's very versatile in size. And I actually got this in a size preemie, um, which it says four to seven pounds, fits a 
is the sizing on this. Um, but it looks like a small newborn size. It doesn't look super creamy. Um, I had some newborn size kicky pants with Milo and they ran kind of on the big side. So I figured a preemie size would be like perfect. So I think this is gonna be perfect sizing for going home. And then with that, I got a swaddle that matches. So this is a super soft, stretchy swaddle. And I'm very excited about this a lot, but I think it's super cute. I love like the black and white. Um, I think it'll be fun for pictures. So that is what I have for baby's clothing. I have a few more things in here. I know this video is getting long. Um, I have a pack of pacifiers. I used pacifiers right away with Milo, but that's also because he was in the NICU and he needed to be able to suck on something because he didn't eat till he was like three or four days old. Um, but I definitely plan on using these right away as long as they're not interfering with nursing. If they start to interfere with nursing at all, I'll definitely stop using them. Um, but I probably will start using these like the first night. So I have a pack of those. And then I have his little toiletries. Um, I'm not sure if he'll have a bath at the hospital or not. I know they usually like to wash their hair off. Probably depends on how much hair he has, how kind of messy he is. Um, some babies come out with like a lot of vernix and blood on them and some babies not as much. So it just kind of depends. I know with Milo he had like blood matted in his hair. And he didn't end up getting a bath in the hospital because he was in the NICU. And so when we got home and I gave him his bath for his first time, it was like, it was really hard to get all that blood out of his hair because it'd been in there for a while, five days. So if that's the case again, I have a baby with a lot of hair, I'll probably want to wash his hair. I want to personally be the one to do it, not the nurse. Um, just because I feel like that's a special moment, his very first bath. So I did bring my own bath soap for him. It's just very extra mild, unscented, um, like shampoo and baby wash. And then like a matching soap, um, extra mild. So I didn't want any scents or anything like that. And I think they use like Johnson & Johnson in the hospital and I just wanted something a little more sensitive and natural. And I have this little, um, it came with a set, so I thought I'd bring it along. It's just a really soft little scrubby that I can use on him. I also brought in this bag nipple butter, even though this is kind of for me, I figured I'd pack it in the baby's bag since um, it's something I won't need to use until after he's born. And I didn't need to use a lot of this the first time around. I didn't really have a lot of soreness or anything, but this is nice to have. And I really like this brand, Earth Mama Angel Baby. It's super natural and organic, and if it gets in the baby's mouth, it's not gonna harm them. It's not like the lanolin sticky stuff they give you and then I have hand sanitizer I think this will be good to have just on the side that I can use you know I don't have to get up every time I feed the baby I just want to make sure I stay clean my husband stays clean um, especially with like touching my phone and stuff your phone is so dirty I definitely want to sanitize after touching my phone um, so that's everything I have for baby and maybe it's too much stuff, but I feel really good about it. And um, I, mentally, it makes me feel good knowing I'm prepared. Um, so let me know, what did you find helpful ha to have in the hospital <clears throat> for your little one? Did you end up using any of the things um, that you brought? Did you wish you brought more? Did you wish you brought less? The, the things I'm not packing are diapers and wipes because I know the hospital will provide those. And um, I usually can even take some home. Okay, so that's everything. And in my next video, I'm going to show you what I'm packing for Mama. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.